Kind of getting kids to relax. I mean, you know, you, you add the, you know, kind of that concoction with section final and then a north south matchup. And for some kids, it can just get overwhelming in terms of, you know, your focus getting getting a lot of whack and being distracted. Um, you know, so for us, the, the week was about creating a relaxing environment. Um, you know, a relaxing ride down, good preparation, uh, believing in what we had, had uh, you know, preached for that week, and, and understanding that we had played really good hockey down the stretch. And, uh, had no reason to believe we would continue. Uh, yeah, I think the last month and a half has been exceptional for our team in terms of its development, its confidence. Um, you know, we've kind of settled into a lineup that uh, you know kids are a little more familiar with. Um, so yeah, I think everybody feels good about the position we're in going into the tournament. Yeah, I mean, when you look at our team, uh, you know, late November to now, uh, not only from the, the, the obvious lineup changes that we've made and, and, and the line combinations that have changed, um, you know, that's the obvious change. But, you know, I think you see a team that is far more confident in, in what we're trying to accomplish. Um, I think we've developed an identity as, a, as kind of a defense first team. Um, and, and playing responsible and physical hockey. And I don't know that we had that early on in the season for sure. Well, I think there's an old saying, something to be effective about it. It's better than to never have money than have it and lose it. And, and so, you know, as a coaching staff, you have that run of section championships. And I think these kids that have watched those teams, you know, I don't want to say they expect it to happen, but people start to assume that you're going to win section final after section final after section final. And that's just not the case with any great program. Here, whether it's in or Duluth East, you just don't make it every year. There's other teams competing just as hard as you to get there. So for this team to kind of, you know, spend the better part of eight weeks grinding and creating an identity down the stretch and then go ahead and close the deal in the section tournament is fantastic. And obviously when you're dealing with seniors, you know that that's, kind of the last kick at the can for something so special. We don't have a kid on the roster this year that's played in a state tournament. So um, that has not been the case over the past few years. We've always had a few trickle down that have, have been there. Um, but when you got an entire group of 20 that wants to make their first trip there, it makes them pretty hungry. Um, I don't think we took anything for granted down the stretch in terms of the way we were going to play and prepare. Um, and you know, for that, they should be locked in. When you play a team that's so offensive, um, you know, I think the start of the game is critical, you know, because, you know, if you're assessing a team and you, you look at what they like to do or they have a propensity to do, they love to have the, the puck on their stick and they love to score goals. I think they're averaging five and a half, six goals a game. So, you know, you need to kind of break that trend and get them out of their comfort zone. So we certainly don't want to run up and down the ice with a team like that. And that's not our makeup either. We're more of a zone to zone team. Um, you know, like to pride ourselves on our physicality and, and the things we do in our own zone. So, you know, it'll be a chess match in terms of what we're trying to accomplish and what they're trying to accomplish. Um, but anytime you play a great hockey team, you know, there's really no pressure. I'm not, I'm not at all concerned about, you know, the outcome of the game because uh, it, it, we did a great job of kind of bending and molding and forming this team in the last eight weeks to give ourselves an opportunity. So, you know, as a coach, you want to prepare to play your best game. And I can't tell you whether that's good enough to beat a team like a guy or not. But I'll worry about my group and, and, uh, and we'll prepare with, with the things that we do well in mind and, and uh, you know, try and dictate a game plan that gives us a chance to win that game. When you look at, at the way this thing is kind of shook out, you know, uh, I think one of the most interesting and neat stories is, is is Matt Preston making a switch to center, um, which kind of solidified kind of a real solid, responsible checking line for us with San Luis and Santiago. So, you know, as much as you watch and you think you got things figured out, you know, we made a decision, you know, about mid-season that, you know, Preston, we thought he could help us 
up front because he's such a smart hockey player and he's got a big body and long reach. Um, you know, so at the beginning of the season, did I see Matt Preston being our second line center? No. Um, so that's a neat story because he's really given us, like I said, a level of consistency on that line that, that's allowed, you know, our top line to just kind of concern themselves with creating offense and, and uh, it's, it's made for a, a more well rounded line. Here's the deal with Spenny. Like, you know, people ask me if anything surprises me this year. That's the one thing I would tell you is he hasn't surprised anybody. He's done exactly what you know we've needed. And, and I think if you ask you know our, our team as a whole, who's been our most consistent contributor, you know, day in and day out, it's, it's Ben Spenny. Like he showed up game one and scored. He hasn't stopped scoring all year. And you know, he continues to do the things that we need outside of scoring goals to help us win hockey games. So you know, his contributions have been phenomenal, you know, because largely early in the season, the team itself was really up and down, and he was kind of flatlined. He just kept getting better and being consistent. And, you know, those are the kind of things you kind of throw an anchor on and hold on a little bit until the rest of the group gets going. And, and uh, you know, we've had some guys since then step up and contribute, but he's the one guy that's kind of been there, you know, producing for us all year long.